Hey friends, this is Lindsay with Swing Design uh, sharing another quick tip tutorial on how to change your SVG designs into a stencil. So if you are a vinyl decal maker, so you cut vinyl um, designs with your Cricut, your Silhouette, your Scan and Cut, um, you know, you, you are probably familiar with taking that SVG design and then turning it into a vinyl decal. Well, what if you wanted to paint that SVG design onto like a wooden sign? Well, you can change the SVG into a stencil. It's really easy to do. There's just a couple of things that you want to keep in mind and we'll go ahead and share those. It helps to start in your design software. So whether you are using Cricut Design Space, Brother Canvas Workspace, or Silhouette Studio, you know, or any other design software, if you start by, well, first importing your design um, and then drawing a box around it, so like a square or a rectangle or even a circle, it doesn't matter, um, but as simple as that sounds, just drawing that shape around the SVG design is essentially what turns it into a stencil. Um, now you want to draw that shape so that it, it, it extends at least a couple inches out from the edge of the SVG because this is what is going to um, mask the area around the design so that when you go to paint the design, um, paint isn't going to get on your surface outside the design, just the design itself. So having that good size margin um, around the design is, is best. And then you just go ahead and cut out the design with the box around it. And you can use any cutting machine you want um, to cut out the design in your stencil material. So here I am using the Silhouette Cameo 4 with Aura Mask 813 stencil material, which is my absolute favorite stencil material. And I have links in the video description if you wanna check out cutting machines and stencil material at Swing Design. And then if you like the actual SVG that I'm using, um, there's a link to it as well. Then the second thing that you want to remember when it comes to turning an SVG into a stencil comes into play when it's time to weed. So with a vinyl decal, you know, you are weeding out the excess vinyl around the design. With a stencil, it's the exact opposite. You are weeding out the design itself. So that's where having that box drawn and cut around the design can really help to remind you um, especially if you are a frequent vinyl decal maker, it will help to remind you that you want to remove the vinyl or stencil material of the design um, because this is where you're going to be applying the paint to. But then after weeding, the next few steps are pretty much the same as if you had created a vinyl decal. You're going to apply transfer tape over the stencil. You want to burnish it down really, really well. And then what I like to do is um, remove the uh, stencil or vinyl backing and replace it with a piece of translucent parchment paper. And this is going to help me later when I'm aligning the stencil. Um, and then transfer that stencil onto the surface that you're, that you're using. So what I have here is a 10 inch wooden circle that I've already painted. So I sectioned out the top and bottom with some painter's tape to spray paint the middle, let that dry and then sectioned off the paint painted part in the middle with the painter's tape to paint the top and the bottom. And then before I had even started painting, the wooden circle had been sanded really, really smooth. And then even um, after painting, um, I'll take a high grit sandpaper, like a uh, 400 grit, and just gently go over the area where I'm applying the stencil. Um, so that area is really, really super smooth because this um, is going to help keep the paint from bleeding underneath the stencil. But then I can go ahead and apply this stencil to the surface. I like using the hinge method where I secure it to my surface with some blue painter's tape and then I'll uh, use that tape as a hinge to pull it back and remove the parchment and then burnish it down really, really well onto that painted wood. Then go ahead and remove the transfer tape. You wanna do that in the opposite direction of the wood grain, so I'm just gonna roll that off. And then I will actually use it over the rest of the stencil to mask it off because um, I'm going to be using spray paint. Um, so if you were using um, a brush with paint, um, you probably wouldn't need to mask off the whole rest of the sign. 
but you can see here where that large margin around the design really comes in handy because then you have just a little bit more area um, to get a little bit messy with the paint um, and that paint still wouldn't get on that the surface underneath. And then another trick to minimizing paint bleed on wooden signs is to paint the stencil first with the same color you used as the base paint color. So that's this cream color um, that I used. And then let that dry. And then go ahead and paint the stencil with a couple coats of the color that you actually want the design to be. You're gonna let that dry completely and then remove the stencil just like you did the transfer tape. So in the opposite direction of the wood grain. And for the little, you know, middles of the letters and such, um, you might need to use like a, um, a needle to just kind of gently poke uh, to grab that, um, stencil vinyl and um, pull that up. But then you have a beautifully painted wooden sign, my friends, ready for you to decorate, for to hang up and show off in your house. So turning an SVG into a stencil really is super easy. It's just all about remembering to, um, you know, leave that margin um, around the design. So if you draw that box in your um, design software, when you go and cut it out, you'll have that area masked um, around the outside of the design. So it's going to help you, um, you know, keep paint off of the surface underneath in case you get a little bit messy. Um, and then it hopefully it will also remind you that you want to weed out the design itself um, to create the stencil and not weed out the, the excess around the design like you would if you were creating a vinyl decal. So that's it, my friends, to creating a stencil from an SVG. Um, if you like the design that um, I used to create this um, really cool modern farmhouse sign, um, I have that linked in the description as well as the um, Aura Mask 813 that I used um, for the stencil material. And then I used the Silhouette Cameo 4 to cut out the stencil material, but you could also use your Cricut or your Scan and Cut. So I have all those supplies linked in the video description. If you you want to go ahead and check them out. So thank you so much for watching friends. I hope you have a great rest of your day and um, we'll see you next time. Bye.